So <clears throat> I know last week was pretty much, you know, hitting the ground running, getting back into your old routine. And what I do see here is that um, within the past, I guess, like three weeks, you, you took a break from something. Last week, you resumed that situation. And now um, the situation itself is proving to be problematic, okay? Um, with these cards coming up like this, there's just no way to skirt around this issue. And it is definitely someone is doing something wrong and they're going to get caught. It's in the reverse position, so thank God for it. But at the same time, it's going to cause you a lot of heartache. Um, <clears throat> what I do sense is that um, this is usually... So it could be in a personal relationship. It could be someone in your family, in your midst that you're dealing with um, very extensively, that someone you're emotionally invested in as well because the Queen of Wands, this is a fiery energy, this is you. The person that is um, also, you know, causing this pain and heartache as well could be someone you're romantically involved with or in a financial situation with, or it could be like in a work environment or in a close personal relationship in terms of love and romance and things like that. And um, this is going to be a rough week, I'm not going to lie, but um, I would definitely say, you know, the energy itself is coming in, there are going to be revelations, things are coming to light, and you're going to see this person in their true colors, and you're going to have to decide how you want to proceed, how you want to react, and what you want to do. And I feel that um, a lot of you, you know, in general, is going to react um, it's sort of like um, you're you're lashing out first rather than you know taking the time off to think okay with this so uh, coming in so soon after this act of deceit you're acting f out first so you're lashing out and um, I feel very strongly that um, you know it's you're you're very hurt you're very angry and upset and you just really you don't know how to contain it and with the Queen of Wands in the reverse position, I do feel that, you know, what, the other person is deserving of it, but at the same time, it's not going to give you, like, ultimately, it's not going to give you the satisfaction that you want by confronting this person just yet. And what I do see is, um, more than anything, this situation is definitely hurting your pride. It's hurting your self-esteem. If it is a financial loss that you're, you know, coping with, it's going to hurt you on in a very profound level because I feel like um, lack of financial resources with this card underneath the Queen, uh, King of Pentacles in the reverse position. So at the same time, I do feel that this act of betrayal, uh, a lot of you might be have been like expecting, you know. Um, like a payout in your work environment, have been expecting like a promotion or like a bonus, which is not coming in or it's um, is reserved for somebody else, okay? So I just, um, I feel really bad about this because it's ushering in your birthday month and, you know, your birthday time with this negative energy. But what I do sense is um, take some time away from it and come back to this situation to find a resolution and to to act on it, try to act on it um, at a later date, okay, because I feel that you're going to um, lash out and it's not going to be, you might say, regrettable things, um, just based on this situation, and it's happening so fast that I feel that um, you're going to, like, try to resolve it on your own in a manner that is not uh, befitting of you at this moment because you're operating from a place of anger, okay? So at the same time, um, the way that you're reacting to this as well is you're, you are coming from a place of a lot of like pain and hurt and other people are, um, you feel like other people are making light of this situation is what I'm sensing in that um, you're hurt, it seems as if they're kind of dismissive, which makes you even more angry and upset. Towards the end of this week, I feel that this situation has a resolution. You're still very upset, but you're able to look at it with a little more objectivity, and you're trying to not get sucked back in it, because I feel that the other person is going to try to come around and appease you, and if anything, you know, in trying to appease you, it's going to make you more upset, because this person, you feel like this person has the nerve to try to come back and try to, you know, reason with you. So um, 
it's going to be a little bit of a, a rocky week, okay? Stay grounded and um, don't react. I guess like um, inactivity is would be the beneficial thing to do. And I know it's going to be hard for you Aries. But I think in general, in the long term, in the bigger scheme of things, it's going to make more of a difference for this week. So this is one of those very pivotal week in which... Um, the best thing to handle this situation, I know the energy is coming in pretty strongly and at the same time it is forcing you to really take a step back and not react because you're not going to get the outcome with the other person that you want. At the same time, um, if you look at the situation down the road, the things that you do this week is going to matter for the next few months. So try not to like have a blowout over this. Okay, so stay grounded and try not to react at this point if you can to the best of your ability. And what I do sense here is for a lot of you this week, there are definitely family uh, pro family issues, family obligations that you're going to have to attend to. For those of you living on your own, there might be situations around the home rather than around the family that you must attend to. And in general, I feel that, you know, for those who are dealing only with, um, I guess, catching up and handling the, uh, the daily minutia of, you know, maintaining your home, such as cleaning up after yourself, washing dishes and stuff like that, you know, the, the mundane stuff, things are going to be fine it's going to help you fall back into a regular routine which is very good energy for stabilizing your emotions as well as your routine okay so that's indicative of the four of wands here for others there might be ch changes like structural changes people coming in and out within the home environment or there might be you know additions to the home environment such as people moving in that you have to contend with and at the same time i do feel that you know it is it is sort of disruptive in a way that um, that you hadn't, it's just, you know, minor disruption. Like I said, these energies are not like bad in any way, but I would definitely say, you know, pe more people in your environment, there's more work to be done, such as, you know, like I said, mentioned with this, it's um, maintaining, maintaining, finishing the task to maintain the, I guess, the organization of your home situation. So the Hierophant itself deals with structure and institutions and with the Four of Wands which deals with the home situation and then you have the Ten of um, Cups which deals with completion of the home. So there are definitely disruption that might um, throw you off for a loop. So you know just try to get home and try to take care of everything that you need to do so that it doesn't stress you out. I do feel that you know a messy home <clears throat> or a messy like um, I guess family structure or you know family relationship could also get in the way as well. Just know that the people around you are very supportive and if you need help you can ask them. I don't feel that you're comfortable entirely asking for help and asking people to chip in or even asking people, you know, to um to help you do something while you take a breather, all right? If you really need to take a breather, let the people know because the ones around you really want to help. And they're more than willing to, you know, pick up the slack, all right? So cut yourself a break. I do feel, though, you know, like they're very condu The people around you are very helpful and they do try to want, they want to help you. It's just you never ask for help. So things are like it's boiling over. So it's important to know how much you can handle and how much um, people care about you. And, you know, it's okay to rely on them. It doesn't make you weak or vulnerable in any way because, you know, they're loved ones. They're there for you for a reason, okay? So keep that in mind as you go through this week. And I would definitely say, you know, um, financially too, there might be a little bit more like higher expenses in your daily life. This is not your work environment. I feel that work environment itself is, is stable, a little bit hectic, but stable. But in your home environment, there might be like a little more expenditures just because you're doing maintenance around the house or you're adding things to the house because there are more people moving in and, and things like that, all right? So keep that in mind. Financially, I don't think it's going to be a problem. It's just a matter of juggling all your responsibilities so that you can get a breather and a moment to relax, okay? And it's also indicative of um, getting back to a routine that you've established for, your, uh, for yourself. I feel that a lot of you might have taken trips, might have like um, taken trip trips as well. 
and um, now you're going back into the home environment into your domain and it feels a little unsettling because you have a lot to catch up on and to fall back into your old routine so just keep that in mind the energy is not bad at all you have the devil in the reverse position so definitely like um, new insights are coming through that help you assess all situations very rationally and realistically all right so it's a good week for opening yourself up and receiving these new insights and these new inspiration all right so i hope you enjoy the video have a great weekend as well and i'll see you next week